a video featuring Terry Gibbs, a man that I love, fantastic musician, beautiful person, funny guy, survivor, 96 years old. I went out to Sherman Oaks, California, I guess it was 2017, summer of 2017, and I stopped at his house and did an interview with him, which was wonderful. We talked for a while, talked about a number of things. And I uh, cut it up and posted the videos at that time. One of the videos, one of the things he talked about was his experience with Jerry Lewis. Now, when I was a kid, I loved Jerry Lewis. Really, really funny guy. I loved his movies. This is uh, late 50s, early 60s. And then uh, he uh, became a director. I wasn't that crazy about that work. And he had his MD, muscular dystrophy thing every year, his telethon that he did. And uh, as life went on, he became kind of a difficult guy. I guess he was always a difficult guy. Uh, in fact, he had a reputation as being something of a prick, uh, egomaniacal narcissist. So when Terry Gibbs told me his Jerry Lewis story, I found it interesting, decided to post it. Nothing that outrageous in that video. So that was, let's see, 18, 19, 20, 20, about three years ago, three and a half years ago. Now, in the past month, something happened and that video took off like a rocket. 100,000 views in one month. That is a lot of views. Uh, how did that happen? Well, you go uh, YouTube and uh, other web uh, sites have something called an algorithm. Facebook has it as well. Algorithm is a formula that uh, they use to uh, determine popularity. Uh, most importantly, uh, they use it uh, to decide which videos they're going to recommend. Because if you have a video that's recommended on YouTube, it's one of those videos on the, on the right side of the screen, there's a chance that those videos are going to get more action, certainly. So uh, after I saw this video, started, the views started to increase dramatically. I looked there and I found that it was like uh, it had been in that space. It wasn't a particular uh, link from someplace, uh, not from a search engine, just people saw it there. And uh, of course, uh, it went uh, not so much on my pages, but on pages relating to Jerry Lewis's content. That formula is a combination of views, recommendations, comments, a number of different factors, which changes. So it's hard to... Uh, uh, when you post on, on YouTube to make that happen, those recommendations, you have to feel happy when it does. So anyway, uh, Jerry Lewis video takes off. Okay. But, and interestingly, the video got 500, 600, 600 comments. That never happens. Uh, something in that video really was the catalyst for people to want to say something. Uh, now, the video itself is not, doesn't have any content that's that outrageous, but people have and had very strong feelings about Jerry Lewis. A lot of people don't like him, and that's putting it mildly. So they really uh, pointed out the fact that he disinherited his children from his will, uh, he was addicted to Percodan for a while, uh, treated people very bad. People who left comments uh, had worked with him in various capacities, uh, an editor, a sound man, uh, a gardener who went to his house. Everybody hated this guy. Now, I'm sure not all of those people knew him. Some did, interestingly. I mean, he lived into his 90s. He had a very uh, productive life. But uh, I think what happened was people, viewers, read some of those comments and they decided to get on the bandwagon. 
because this is something that happens on the internet. People will, uh, first of all, people who leave comments, they usually don't leave their names. They hardly ever leave their names. They're anonymous. So that gives them license to say whatever the fuck they want to say. Uh, of course, uh, on my channel, I look at the comments. Some of them I delete. Most I don't, though. I, I delete the, I, uh, delete the uh, links to porno sites. That happens with everybody's videos. And uh, some, a few things that I, I deal, uh, that I decide are in poor taste. Um, so people leave comments and people like to dump on celebrities. So they just jumped on the Jerry Lewis bandwagon and uh, kind of blew my mind how much Jerry Lewis was hated and how this thing took off like it did. Uh, that's not good, I don't think. Uh, first of all, I didn't uh, set out to uh, turn the video into uh, uh, putting down Jerry Lewis. I just told Terry Gibbs a story. And uh, I thought it was a good story. But nothing... Nothing that bad about Jerry Lewis, but the, it's just the opportunity to knock Jerry Lewis uh, just really uh, gave people an opportunity to uh, express their negative feelings and also to just dump on him. And uh, sadly, so much of what appears uh, in social media and in just the media in general is just negative. People dumping on each other. It's so easy. Especially with the advent of the reality show, the stupidity, the ability. People say, well, I, that boy, those people are stupid. I'm not like that. But look at those motherfuckers. Look what they did. Look how they talk. Look at their lives. They're scum, blah, blah, blah. But they still watch the shows. Reality shows, far and away, at this point, probably the most popular type of programming on broadcast TV and cable TV.